Hello everyone, this is Christian with Stat Bucer. Oh, I have to tell you something, people. You know something? This is a big shocker. You do not have to show your ID to a police officer just because they ask. You don't actually have to talk to a cop. Actually, if you're uncomfortable with a conversation with a police officer, all you have to say is, Officer, I do not consent to this conversation. They have to have real good, probable cause to even start a conversation with you, or to actually ask you any questions. So walking up to you and saying, Sir, can I ask for some ID, is unconstitutional and is actually against the law for a cop to do that. Remember, if a cop walks up to you and starts asking your name and ID, you say, Sir, I do not consent to this conversation. End of story. Now, if it consists, you ask another question. You say, Officer, am I being detained? And if I'm not being detained, I want to go on my way now. Now, if they detain you, it better be a good reason, because if they have no reason to contain you, then it is illegal. Remember this, illegal. So if they do contain you, you have probable cause now to go to a lawyer and sue. Sue and get some money in your pocket. That means the Erie police or any other police force is going to be out some money. Now remember this. Two lines. I do not consent to this conversation. Now, the only time you should show your ID to a cop is if that cop is basically working an off-duty job and it's like a bartender or someone who is checking ID like carding in a carding situation like a social gathering like the video I'm about to show you in the video I'm about to show you I go to Rock Erie 2009 and of course it's a big party and CLB would like to get his drink on so CLB shows his ID to the friendly cop now that's not sarcastic because actually I think the cop in this video is a friendly guy I've hung out with him at the block parties, I've talked to him, celebrate Erie, he's a good guy. You know, there's a, there are some good apples. I know a lot of people when they watch my videos, they see what I say online, it does seem like I hate all cops. No, I only do not like the cops that are unconstitutional. And I say do not like because hate's a very powerful word and you should not use hate unless you really, really mean it. So anyway, the video I'm showing you, I show my ID to a very, very friendly police officer who is not looking at my ID for a cop reason. He is carding me so I could go in to the biggest event in Erie, Rock Erie. Every year it's the Rock Erie Music Awards, which is the biggest event in Erie. But anyway, I had to go in there, I had to get my drink on, show my ID friendly cop, but if that cop saw me on the street, randomly walked up to me and said, hey, can I see your ID, which me and him are, you know, I, I know him from the parties and stuff, which he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. But if he did, if he walked up to me and said, hey, can I see your ID? I'd be like, no, you cannot because this is America. And if you are detaining me, then you better give me a good reason. And if I'm not being detained, I want to go on my merry way. And remember that, because that could actually save you from getting arrested in the future. All you have to do is say, sir, I do not consent to this conversation, and sir, if I'm not being detained, I want to leave now. Now, please enjoy this video. Thank you very much. Peace, everybody. Hi, Definition Clink. What's up? We're oh, about man. to go up inside the Rocky Music Awards 2009. Everyone's out here. <laughs> Everyone's in their fast gear. Everyone's looking good. Everyone's looking good, man. This is uh, Clink coming into you for High Definition. A lot of people having fun. Let's get up inside here. We got the red carpet that we're walking on. I can't walk backwards like this, but hey, I can perfect anything, I guess. We gotta get padded down, man. I hope nobody got anything on them. Uh, I'm all used to that. We got the tickets. Yeah. Cool. <laughs>
This is the girl that takes tickets at the Rock Erie 2009. Everyone gets to meet her. We're still on high definition mode. Man. So, Colonel Clink, do you feel the energy? You must feel the energy. Yeah, I'm feeling the energy. Man. How does that energy feel? How does it? Like, I mean, I bet you could feel like you could cut the energy with a butter knife. Yeah, I feel like it's so uh, so smooth that you can butter spread it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like a nervous energy, but it's, it's a good energy because it, it's an explosive situation. I mean, Rock Erie 2009, nothing better than that. I don't, I don't get nervous when it comes to stuff like this, man. Well, I can feel my heart beating already. This, this is, the, this is the, the biggest thing of music. Right? Spotlight TV. You can have one. How you doing? Good. How about you, man? They're giving me the wristband right here. Oh man, okay. You have your ID with you? Oh yeah. <laughs> here, here, here. Everybody We're gonna record out. Christian getting his stuff. Right. This is this is the cameraman, Christian oh, Lestap, you see here on Spotlight TV, also channel two, cat TV. You know, actually I like to be checked for ID before alcohol because it makes me feel really young. <laughs> See, no ball spot or anything. I'm you one by No ball spot? Kidding. You said, let me see, let me see. No ball spot, people. I dyed my hair so many times, who knows? I could have gray hair, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, we're going back to uh, what's cracking Colonel Clink now. Uh. It's Paul Williams with Ripping Tattoo Studio. Here's finest tattoo shop. You just watched a Christian Lestat production.